So what we're doing, again, just to reiterate this, is we have kind of a working solution in MVC that we finished yesterday, which is a movie application. We do CRUD operations on movies and their genres. Uh, it's got a database backend. And we created this without a GitHub repo. And so if I open that up, the first thing I want to show is the directory of where this is at on my hard drive. Again, no repo yet. And so if I right click my solution, um, there's an option here to open the folder in File Explorer. So I want to show this directory on my local computer. Uh, and notice there is no git repo. You could tell there's no git repo because there's no hidden folder called git. Okay, so if I take a look at my local directory, it's this movie solution directory inside of users, Evan Gunmanstead source repos. Okay, so that's kind of the first thing to notice is where it's at on your local hard drive. Okay, now to actually create a git repo, what I'm gonna do is down at the very bottom, um, you can choose this option, and this is just defaults for Visual Studio. I didn't show this toolbar or anything. I'm going to select a repository and click the ellipsis here to create a Git repository. <clears throat> so, you know, there's two repos here. There's a local repository and a remote rep repository. The local repository is up top. So I need to navigate, and you can navigate to that directory here. Um, I'm already in it, but C users, Evan, source, repos, movie solution. So I'm going to select that root folder that I just showed on my Windows Explorer. My git ignore is Visual Studio. My license template I say is MIT because I want it open source. In other words, if anybody on the internet wants to use any of my code, no problem. I'm going to add a readme. Um, you need to have your account uh, Visual Studio linked up to GitHub. And if you don't, you're going to do that under File, um, Settings, where, oh, account settings. is there Account Settings? Under Huh? Under print. Under print. There it is. Account settings. Thank you. I'm blind as a bat. And here I can see I've added my GitHub account. Okay. Because I've added and I've synced up my Visual Studio <clears throat> with my GitHub account, um, I have that option. So I'm going to create my Git repo now. I'm going to kind of paste in that directory or you can navigate to it. Selecting my account. Selecting the owner. I'm going to call this the chapter four movies uh, mvc movies mvc chapter four movies i'm going to make it public and i'm going to see if i can do a create and push create good hub repository started is running in the background created and pushed to GitHub successfully. So that's great. Let's take a look on github.com. And if I go to my repositories, there's MVC chapter four movies. And there's my movie project, my movie solution with everything as needed. Now. Um, now that this is linked up to GitHub, let's just kind of go into maybe a view and let's just make a change and then push that change. On the home controller, we'll just throw in a my movie list and smiley face. And so we put that in the title with the smiley face because that's good. We like to smile in our title. And let that boot up. You can do it. My movie list smiley face. And now let's uh, push those changes. And so 
I got I got the red pending edit. And here we have the tab for get changes. Git changes. And you could see the changes. Of course, I need to do a commit and a push, and this is on the master branch. I'm going to say updated the uh, index CS HTML file, and I'm going to do a commit all and push and successfully pushed and refresh we could see our three commits and so pretty easy within Visual Studio to create a repo and push changes so just want to demonstrate that